everything you need to know when storing wine in a decanter. Is there anything more sophisticated than opening up a bottle of your favorite wine and pouring it into a beautiful decanter? Wine experts will tell you that storing wine in any container other than an original cask or bottle isn't ideal for long-term storage as it can lead to oxidation and change the taste of your beverage. But let's be real, we live life on the edge, so make sure never to store them next to each other so they don't get mixed up. So if you've been looking for the perfect way to store your fancy wines without having them go bad or any other problems, then here's everything that you need to know when it comes to storing wine in a decanter. Can you leave wine in a decanter overnight? Yes, it can stay in the decanter overnight as long as it has an airtight stopper to stop over-aeration of the wine. The best part is that you don't need to worry about spilling a single drop. Does wine go bad in a decanter? Yes, especially if it does not have an airtight stopper. The wine's flavor and aroma can be greatly affected by oxygen, which is why you should always keep your wines in an airtight container. A little bit of exposure to this healthy gas will allow the flavors to come out better. Still, too much will actually change their chemical composition forever, turning them into vinegar. How do wine decanters work? For aeration. Wine decanters are designed to aerate the wine, and they work by allowing air to mix with it inside. They increase the surface area through their wide bowls, which allow for more movement of the air. The presence of a narrow neck also allows you a firm grip when swirling your wine in them. A good decanter should have at least 1.5 liters capacity to not miss out on any opportunity. When you pour wine into a decanter, the oxygen in the air mixes with it and coaxes out its closed-off aromas. This is because without enough aeration of your wine, subtle citrus or floral flavors will never be detected by our senses during drinking time. Release Tannins The decanter is also responsible for releasing the tannins in wine, which tends to make it taste bitter. Tannins are actually antioxidants that keep wines from going stale, and contrary to popular belief, they do not cause migraines, Dissipation of Sulfites Sulfites are found in wine to preserve flavor and fragrance. When you decant your wine, the sulfites dissipate so that everyone can enjoy these flavors. However, if not properly removed from red wines, sulfites will prevent the browning of the liquid and cause hives, stomach pains, headaches, and swelling of some body parts for those who are allergic to them. Decant Sediments the sediment must be decanted to prevent any off-putting taste from ruining your evening with wine. The sediment in a bottle of fine wine breaks down over time and can contain yeast cells or tartrate crystals, which help give some wines their signature taste, but when left undisturbed for too long, they can form an unsightly crust on top and make you look like a sloppy host who doesn't know how to pour properly. How long can you leave wine in a decanter? Red wine is best when it's left to breathe, but even if you decant your favorite red for two to three days, the liquid will start to go stale. If this happens and there isn't a stopper on that airtight container, then just pour out what you have into another bottle or carafe with an opening at the top so oxygen can get in. How long should red wine sit in a decanter? The reds are the most decanted wines, which means that they can be left in a decanter for up to three days. How long should you decant wine? Wine needs to be decanted for 30 minutes or more to open up. Full-bodied wines like the Eglianco, Barbara, and Sagrantino need at least three hours of decanting time, while medium reds like Cabernet Franc require only one hour. If you're planning to serve red wine aging for more than 20 years, it is best served decanted. For wines younger than 10 years old, though, they should be tested every few minutes to determine if the wine needs a container change before the serving time arrives. After decanting the wine into the decanter, you can choose to return it to its original bottle after removing offending sediments. This process is called double decanting, which tends to open up wines more than what was perceived when they were first decanted. You will notice in bars and hotels that they are not always performing this procedure because their technique has already been done for them. An alternative to storing decanted wine There are many ways to store decanted wine. 
One is by putting the decanted wine back into an empty glass of its own with a cork or screw top lid that seals tightly and prevents oxygen from coming in contact with it. You can also keep your favorite bottles fresh for years using inert gas wine preservers, which use carbon dioxide, nitrogen, argon, all safe gases approved by restaurateurs and wineries who recommend them as effective at preserving flavor without oxidizing wines, so they retain their original taste no matter how old. There's no need to worry about cracking open a new bottle every time you want some because these will make any kind last longer than ever before. If you want to enjoy your wine for as long as possible, it is important that you know how best to store them. Decanting the bottle will make its taste a bit more enjoyable, but be sure not to pour out any of what remains in the container. This way, even if only half of the original volume has been consumed, there will still be some leftover when guests come by or next time. Is this video helpful? If so, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Advanced Mixology for more insights and tips. Don't forget to hit the notification bell button to stay updated on our latest videos.